Hi there, stampers and crafters. My name is Tammy White from stampwithtammy.com. And today I'm going to show you how to make this flippin' awesome flower box window card. How stinking cute is this? Complete with curtains and everything. It was inspired by a card designed by Valerie Moody, and I just absolutely love it. And I think you're going to love it too. And a quick note here the Stampin' Up! retirement list for this year's annual catalog is going to be announced on Monday, April 18th. So be sure to stay tuned to my stampwithtammy.com blog for details on that, or if you're on my weekly newsletter, I'll be sending it out there too. And I'll also have details on how you can get a new catalog. All right, let's get started. The stamp set that I'm using here for the words is the Teeny Tiny Wishes, which is an absolute staple in any collection. And here's the beautiful thing about this card. Mother's Day is coming up. I made this just for you. It's a little bit generic, so you could use it for multiple occasions. You could use just for you as a word for Mother's Day, for a birthday, for a thank you. But the Teeny Tiny Wishes set also has Happy Mother's Day. And it has many other occasions, too. So you could just swap out the words and make this good for any other occasion. All of the supplies that I'll be using today and the measurements for this card and all of the other information on it are available on my stampwithtammy.com blog and I have a free PDF for you there as well. You can get to it by going to this URL or clicking in the link in the YouTube description below. If you're on YouTube, you can click right on this video. I'm gonna start by doing our Big Shot texturing and die cut work. This is the brick wall texture folder. It's a great one placing some crumb cake inside that and sandwich it between two cutting pads. We're placing it on tab one of the multi-purpose cutting platform that comes with the Big Shot and cranking it through. And this cool brick wall texture is the results. Now for the window, I'm using some of Stampin' Up's corrugated cardstock. It is cool stuff, very cool stuff. Comes in both craft and white. I'm using white today. I've got the multi-purpose cutting platform closed one cutting pad on top and then our cardstock, and then we're gonna line up the sill on the corrugated. I stamp the Just For You in some early espresso and it's on a scrap of Whisper White which I'm using the window, both the window and the sill are from the Hearth and Home die set and then the banner comes from the Bitty Banners die set. And that's just gonna line up over the Just For You. You can run these all through at once Put one cutting pad on top and crank it through. And those pieces just pop right out. Here are our pieces so far. I have also cut a, a piece of early espresso. Again, measurements are on the blog. This little flower punch comes from the Bitty Punch accessory pack. We're gonna use it on some rose red. We want six flowers here. If I said rose red, I apologize. This is Melon Mambo cardstock. And we are going to cut a tea lace doily into quarters. And lastly, we want three branches from the bird punch. And then we'll be using some of Stampin' Up's rhinestone jewels. Now it's time for some assembly. We're going to attach the tea lace doilies in the window frame with some snail adhesive. I just put it on top of that tea lace doily and we'll match that on both sides. And then I just trimmed out the excess. And I'll take some mini glue dots to, to attach the window pane to the early espresso panel behind it. And some Stampin' Dimensionals to attach that to the brick wall panel. And a couple of Stampin' Dimensionals on the back of the window sill. Attach that over the bottom. Mini glue dots for our word banner. <laughs> I used a bone folder to curl up the edges of our flowers just to give them a little, little pow. I cut all of these stems off the leaves. We just really needed the leaves section. They just go down with so many glue dots. I put the leaves in first and then lined up the flowers around it. And then the flowers, I just pieced them in there, lined them up. but. I didn't really line them up because I wanted them to go at a little bit of an up and down zigzag. We will place a little bling bling with these rhinestone jewels right in the center of each of the flowers because such a beautiful card deserves some bling. And some Stampin' Dimensionals on the back of that panel attach it to our crumb cake card base. 
and wow, right? Isn't that just awesome? So fun. Love, love, love this card. I hope you've enjoyed this today. Be sure to visit my blog for hundreds more video tutorials, daily inspiration. I post ideas there every day and be sure to join my mailing list because I send out free card tutorials every Tuesday. Thanks for joining me.